Hello everybody and welcome to the Bite Mark. Today I wanted to talk about the Xbox Series X. I saw the reveal event for it and well it leaves a lot to be desired, especially since this is one of their pictures. Fastest and most powerful. Really? Really <laughs> think you're you're as powerful as a PC or more powerful than it? No. Nah bro. No. Okay, so um, I tried looking around online, and I couldn't actually find the uh, reveal event listing for it, but what I uh, for the Xbox Series X. But what I did find was some confirmed games. Let's go down those, shall we? We already know what some of them are, and I'll point out whether I'm interested or not. Uh, let's see, Bright Memory Infinite. There was gameplay shown, something brief, little bit tidbits of gameplay shown for that. I don't know what that's like, but. Um, Looks like it leaves a lot to be desired. Battlefield 6 is coming, don't care. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which actually looks good. And, um, well, I wanted to talk about that. Uh, let me go ahead and have some gameplay placed over it for the sake of it. Um, hold on a minute here. So what I can tell you is that you basically play as a Viking this time around. Sorry for the uh, shitty quality. Uh, oh, it's auto 1080. Then why does it look kind of smushed and shit? Whatever. The gameplay still looks good, and uh, I would like to actually play this when it comes out. But I have some skepticism about it, mainly because I'm not that big of an of an Assassin's Creed fan. I like Black Flag because the gameplay appealed to me. I played some of Odyssey, but I gave up on that because the gameplay was kind of shit. And yeah, that's just something to really... Uh, think about whenever you're talking about this sort of thing. So far, it looks like it might be really, really fun, despite it, the entire thing mostly being, it mostly just shows cinematics more than anything, but I think you can get the gist that it looks like it's going to be really fun. You play as a viking, you fight the British and other foes, you plunder, you pillage. You, of course, are uh, on a ship and all. We all know, we all know how fun that's going to be. Sorry if it seems like I'm going through this quick, but, you know, there's, there's a lot to go into. Uh, let's see, uh, what else is next? Chivalry 2, never played it, don't care. Chorus, I saw I can't, saw that was displayed at the event, I didn't care. Troll, uh, I think I've seen that, don't care. Uh, I'm mostly just to uh, point out the highlights and what interests me, if, it, if I find it, mostly. Okay, Destiny 2, not a surprise that it's coming. Uh... Cyberpunk 2077, that sounds cool, it looks awesome, uh, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't really shown at the event, but it's going to be a confirmed game, it's something I do actually want to play when it comes out, possibly just, uh, give it a rent, for a, I'll, I'll give it a rent first, sorry, Dirt 5, don't care, Dying Light 2, I'm interested in that, they didn't show it, uh, I'll, I'll basically give brief mentions of, uh, stuff that, uh, indicating whether it was actually shown or not. Most was not really shown. GTA 5 will be on. It's not a shocker. Gods of Monsters, that wasn't shown. Gears 5, not a surprise that this will be on there. But uh, a lot that wasn't shown. At, there was a lot that really wasn't shown at the reveal event, which is kind of shit. Uh, let's see, Marvel's Avengers, don't care. Mainly because... I don't know if it's going to be all that satisfying. I'd have to look into it, but I have doubts. Rainbow Six Quarantine. Um, because of the fact that it involves a viral outbreak, that somewhat interests me, but I'm less likely to play it all that much. I'm, I'll, I'll just have to try it. I, I'm not too fond of either Siege or Quarantine or anything Rainbow Six oriented. Uh... Resident Evil Village, that actually is uh, looks interesting. There's not much detail on it. Scarlet Nexus, here's something I actually wanted to talk about. Um, despite it looking weird as all the fuck. I'll just mute this because no one cares. Um, let's actually look at the...
Kirito Sumeragi. My power is psychokinesis. Ready? Scarlet Nexus, weird as shit, but uh, I'm interested, somewhat interested. Let's see, Sims 5, not sure how to feel about that one, especially since it's an EA game. Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum, uh, since his name is in it, I'm not interested. The Medium, for those who are interest, interested in uh, uh, Possessed Horror, I, I don't really care for that. Scorn, that didn't look that interesting, it just grossed me out. Sinuous Sage, Hellblade 2, doesn't interest me, sold more, never heard of it. Uh, really? Wow. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Yeah, people are more likely to go fishing when it's in other games. At least that's what I've noticed. Um, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines 2. Not sure what to think about this, even though it actually was shown at the reveal event. There, there isn't much there. But now on to Yakuza, Like a Dragon. Okay, so, uh, how do I explain this one, okay? I'm going to try my best to explain it. Like, the story itself, hold on, let me try to get the sound here. Okay, okay. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Strangely enough, for those who don't know, Like a Dragon is actually Yakuza's uh, original title. So, well, it's, origi it's actual title in uh, Asia and everywhere else, I believe. It's uh, Like a Dragon. I might have got some of that information wrong, but that's basically Yakuza's original, Yakuza's original title. Now, here's the biggest problem with this, okay? It is fucking different suburbs, so um, it's a it's fucking turn based. Look at this shit. Why? Why does it have to be turn based? I mean, I'm certain that it can be fun and all, but I, I don't understand why it needs to be this instead of the beat 'em up that it's used to, that it's used to being. And are they going to limit your movements? Can you move around freely, like KH? I, I don't understand. You can select stuff from a menu, use special attack, sounds cool, but... And it comes with the usual fare that uh, RPGs come with. Run into bad guys, you attack them. What if you don't want to attack them? What if, I mean, granted, you could still, you know, not run away when dealing with them. Well, actually, you could run away in the sixth game and Kiwami 2. But still, what, even though it seems kind of cool, I don't... I have my doubts about this. So why are they just waiting to attack? Is there going to be some delays here? I I I know I should just listen to what this guy is saying, but you see my problem here, right? This the fact that it's turn-based alone doesn't it, it just doesn't gel well with me. 
because the Yakuza games have never been turn-based. The only time when it was was in 6 and Kiwami 2, which um, actually had like an RTS vibe to it. It was simplistic, and, you know, there was some fun to be had with it. It could have been retooled a bit better, but anyway, there still just seems to be an odd... Um, this is this is an odd concept, and as much as I enjoy turn-based in other games, I don't really think it has should be the permanent type of gameplay here in Yakuza. Not saying that it's not fun and you won't kick ass, but they're probably going to involve other stuff with it. I just no, I'm sorry, no. I I don't like this. I don't care for that. Uh, moving on to something that I actually am fond of talking about. Also, in other news, I forgot before I get off off track. Um, just check here on my notes. Uh, let me check. Okay. Um, aside from obviously, Le Yakuza Like a Dragon is going to basically be about a new character and involve a trail. It's also going to be on Windows 10, which is a good thing. But the fact that it's turn-based really bothers me. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get over that. But yeah, um, now on to the actual other game that Xbox Series X has going for it. And we're going to look at more on the list soon enough. But uh, I'm going to leave that link there to save. Uh, actually, hang on a second. I may have to just give this, give uh, Like a Dragon a try before... It, um, you know, having any just any further opinions about it, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be disappointing. At least I think so. In Japan, I think it's already out on PS3. If it hasn't already come out already, I could be wrong. But anyway, moving on to this game, which is fun. Second Extinction. <laughs> Xbox One and Series X, but uh, <laughs> they really should have named that a whole lot better. Uh, let's close this, and we're gonna go to the list. All right, so yeah, Second Extinction. That is something that I really <laughs> wouldn't mind playing. It's probably the most impressive one there, out of anything. Okay, apparently Microsoft has discussed a list of, list of op optimized games. For list of optimized for Series X upgraded games. Okay, and they discussed list of these games that will work on pr that will work to improve on the new hardware, upping resolutions and potentially doubling frame rates. I have doubts about that considering its size, but sometimes big things can come in small packages. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Bright Memory Infinite, Call of the Sea. I I don't know what to think about that one. It looks like it's going to be one of those narrative-based games, like the Stanley Parable or something. Uh, I'll have to rent that as well. Uh, Chorus, don't care. Dirt 5, don't care. Gears 5, don't care. Madden, don't care. Scat, Scarlet Nexus is weird. Kind of interested. Second Extinction, this, definitely. Scorn, don't care. Ascent. Okay, the Ascent here. Uh, let me get some gameplay for that, because that one actually somewhat interests me, but... The view of it kind of bugs me. Let me just get it right now. Uh, hang on a second. <sighs> there. Okay. Oh. Gameplay. Okay. Okay, this should be it. Alright. <laughs> Sneak peek at high level gameplay. I'll look at more of that later. 
Oh, really? Okay, that's bad. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay. So what I can say... Okay, you can examine items. That's pretty much a given. What else? Okay. This looks like a uh, stick shooter that's stuck in beta. At least that's what I think. It looks like a beta-based game. I wouldn't mind playing it, but I probably just would... I would rather just wait for PC for this to come, but yeah, what else? Let's see what else. Looks like it's gonna have some new ideas. More on that later. I generally just like the idea. New weapons, possibly some power ups and such. Uh I mean I'm certain there would be. I hope that it's not bare bones like Minecraft Dungeons was. But yeah, uh let's see. There, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to this. Shield, defense, possibly some other powers. Yep, yeah, additional abilities. The same sort of thing that you'd expect. Light RPG elements, that sort of stuff. I think it's cool. I, it sounds like I'm kind of skipping over some things, but that's generally what it looks like to me. So I will have more information on those said games when I actually play them. But that's really all that I can say about what is there. Let's see. Rumored Series X games. Starfield. Never heard of it. Elder Scrolls 6. Barely been announced. There's still an early development. Okay. Likely that those games will come to the X box to see, come to Series X. I'll call it SX. Yeah. Elden Ring. Uh, okay. Developed by From Software. Okay. From Software. That's not a good sign. Collaboration with George R. R. Martin of Game of Thrones fame. Okay. Uh, NHL and FIFA. Don't care. Uh, during EA plays. Let's see. Uh, Dragon Age. Dice's Battlefield. I care more about the first one, but yeah. New Need for Speed. Another Need for Speed. Wow. Yeah. That, I'm not surprised. Okay. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons. That's going to be coming as well, even though it's disappointing as fuck. Um, I can just tell you right now. That for those who haven't played it, it is a bare bones kitty version of Diablo. You can't even really bl break blocks. It has the look of Minecraft and the name Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft. It's Minecraft mostly in name more than anything else. Anything else? Ori and the Will of the Wisps is going to be coming as well. That I only play on PC. Wasteland 3, I would mostly only play that on PC. Psychonauts 2, haven't played the first one, so I don't know what to say. Uh, I might play that. Uh, Lego Star Wars, Skywalker Saga. No, never playing that, ever. Fuck you. Uh, Fantasy Star Mine, that's 2. It's kind of, I kind of expected that, whatever. But yeah, because it's already on Xbox. Uh, Tales of Arise, that looks, that I've actually seen. It looks cool. Crossfire X. Um... Not sure how to feel about that because I haven't played it. Tales of Arise sounds cool because it's part of the Tales of Symphonia series. The Tales series, right up there with Tales of Symphonia, Berseria, and the like. Um, overall, this entire event was incredibly disappointing, but that's just what I've seen. I can't really say much aside from... Uh, in terms of this being the most powerful, they didn't show much at the event to really declare that. They showed some new games, mostly shit that I didn't care about. But yeah, so far, I think that PS5 has this system beat. It is not the most powerful. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I wouldn't mind playing the Series X, but it's going to be hard for me to do that due to lack of, sp due to lack of space. Um, sorry if I seem like I'm rushing this, but I don't know what more to give because there's not much to really care about with this, and most stuff that's coming into Xbox Series X is going to pos is going to possibly be on PC anyway. Some stuff is an exclusive already, but that doesn't really mean anything when a lot of games already come to PC anyway. I know it sounds like <laughs> I'm considering PC as the dominant uh, system, but, and I'm not saying that this won't be fun to play on. You can like it if you wish, but 
and play on it if you wish. I, however, just have doubts. So far, PS5 has impressed me more because it had more interesting games for the most part. And don't get me wrong, I like Cyberpunk, but still, and there's Halo Infinite, but I don't really care for a lot of what's actually shown there. Mainly because there's not much information on Halo Infinite out, I don't think. And to me, Halo's gone downhill. But yeah, that's really all that I got to say about this. There's a lot that we still have yet to see with the series. Let's see if there's anything here. Anything new. What the hell was that? That wasn't shown. And if it was, I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, so as I can tell you, as I said before, Xbox Series X is pretty much just lackluster with its presentation. It will possibly become better later on. And they, I mean, that's happened before when the Xbox One actually dropped, so that pretty much explains everything. So, yeah, PS5 is the better system, and Ghostwire Tokyo coming out for it sounds cool. But I'm more likely to play it on PC, because no matter what PS5 or Series X... Uh, releases, I'm going to mostly just stick to playing games on my PC or and my other consoles because I have a lot of other games to play. Not saying that I won't play them, but it's just I'm probably mostly just going to wait and see how things go. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next videos. Stay batty, my friends.